Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Easy Learning. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 1, Multimedia and Desktop Publishing, Part 3. Contents of this session are file formats. You are going to learn about text file formats, image file formats, audio file formats and video file formats. First, we learn about text file formats. Text file formats have two things. One is plain text, another one is rich text file format. What is the meaning and what's the difference for that? Plain text contains no formatting, only line breaks and spacing. That means it is not having the formatting like font size, coloring, bolding and italics etc. The plain text files can be opened, read and edited with most text editors. The important softwares with plain text are Notepad. As you know it is in Windows and text edit in Mac. Apart from that Nano in Unix and Linux are there. Rich text is the primary file format introduced in 1987 by Microsoft. Simple example for rich text format is MS Word. Let's see the example. Can you see the difference here? Same content is typed in the notepad. It was very plain. But in the notepad, there is an option for format. In the format, I can change the text into bold, italic, even I change the size. But the drawback is, if I apply a format here, it is applied for the whole content. But it is not like that in rich text. In rich text, I can format each line separately and differently. Can you see in this line, only one letter is changed to another color. So everything is possible in rich text. So Pakka formatting tool is allowed in rich text. As, as per the name plain text, it reminds plain text or plain format or single format. Is it clear children? Plain text and rich text. Next, image file formats. There are many kinds of email, image file formats in usage. Here we are going to see some of the image file formats which are in your book. TIFF, GIF, JPG, PNG, PMP, DIP, DGA, etc. First we see about TIFF. Full form is TAT image file format. This format is common in desktop publishing world that means it supports high quality output. Recent version of TIFF allows image compression. You remember the word compression because it is an important point regarding the image. The format is comfortable for moving large files between computers. The softwares where they are used are desktop publishing faxing, 3D applications and medical imaging, TIFF files are used. Extension name for TIFF files are .tiff or sometimes it is .tif. Can you see an image here? This is a type TIFF image and the size is 694 kilobytes. Now, I want to explain the concept. What is compression? Data compression is a technique in which the size of data is reduced without loss of information. I will again repeat, size of data is reduced without loss of information. So, there are two types of compressions. One is lossy, another one is lossless. What is the difference between them? Lossy compression technique does not restore the data in its original form after decompression. On the other hand, lossless compression restores and rebuilt the data in its original form after decompression. That means 
our image is going to be compressed in the form of size. So, if you uh, date some, uh, you may remember nowadays when you are filling a online application form, you might read the line that the size should be uh, 150 into 250 megapixels or it will be in the resolution of 250. The, so, nowadays they are asking particular size with particular dimensions. So, these are all possible only because of the compression technique which is applied to the image. So, we must be very clear with the format of image before uploading an image in an online form. So, this is the example for lossless and lossy. Can you see the wings here? Can you uh, see the image of wings? It's blur. So, lossless compression, if I reduce the size, it will not lose the data of the information. But that means the originality remains somewhat good. But here, it won't be in a originality. That is the thing of lossy. Is it clear? We'll move to the next image file format, GIF. Graphics interchange format. Can you see here? This same image, but the format does differ. So only I have shown you the description. Size is 237 kilobytes. Do you remember? It's, uh, it's around 600 in TIFF. But in GIF format, the size is reduced. GIF is a compressed image format. Most of the computer color images and backgrounds are GIF files. GIF uses lossless compression. That means clarity will be good. That does not degrade the quality of the image. GIF image can include a maximum of 256 colors, less memory size. This is the important point. See here, it is 694 TIFF. But the same image in GIF, it is 237. So being a computer science student, hereafter, if you open any image, try to know the properties and the format of an image. Then another plus point of GIF is, GIF supports animated image. Can you see this? So, I hope hereafter you like to have GIF because of the animation. Next image format is JPEG. Joint Photographic Experts Group. JPEG was designed to attain maximum magic compression. It uses lossy compression. That means if you reduce the size, the quality will reduce. It goes with photographic naturalistic artworks, but it is not advisable in lettering, live drawings or simple cartoons. See the size, 86.8 kilobytes. Next one is PNG, Portable Network Graphics. An extensible file format for the lossless, portable and well compressed storage of raster image. PNG acts as replacement of GIF and also replaces multiple common uses of TIFF. Nowadays, some of the software or some of the online animated things, they prefer only PNG because it's good with online viewing applications. And it is fully streamable with the best display option. See the size, 805 kilobytes. Next one is bitmap, then tip, bitmap. This format is used with Windows 3.1 version. Large and uncompressed and hence PMP is used for high resolution or large images. Size 1.53 megabytes. Dip. This format, which is similar to BMP, allows the files to be displayed on a variety of devices. A dip image can be opened through Corel Paint Shop, Auto, Adobe Photoshop can be used to open this file. Next one is TGA. Simply tag that is true vision graphics adapter image. It is the first popular format for high resolution images. TGA is supported by most of the video capture boards. That means TGA is a special 
image file format which is mostly used in the animation field. These are some of the extra image file formats. Have one point in your mind children as our software line is always updating every day you will keep on you will be updated with many new versions. Always software line will be a ocean. And now we are going to see about digital audio file formats. I want to segregate them into uncompressed formats and compressed formats. I hope you remember the point compression that is reduction of size without losing of quality. It is achieved through lossy and lossiness in image file format. Here some of the audio files are easily compressible. That means I can reduce the size. But sometimes it remains as uncompressed format. PCM, pulse code modulation. These are all just the full form for the digital audio file format. Some of the things are explained in your book. We will see it in next slide. That is WAV, Waveform Audio File Format. It is most popular in Windows for storing uncompressed sound files. Next, MPEG. Everyone know MP3. The most wanted is MP3 player, MP3 songs for storing and downloading music then OGG it produces a smaller file size for equivalent audio quality then AAFF this is of uh, this is used by Apple and for the OS Mac WMA it is owned by Microsoft Windows Media audio file and it is having a digital right management abilities for copyright protection then RE, that is real audio file. It is well designed for streaming audio over the internet. These are the formats of digital audio files. Next one is digital video file formats. In your book, we have given two things. One is AVA, audio video interleave. It is the video file format for Windows. You know very well AVA. Because we, you are using most of the videos to play in your computers or AVA. The sound and picture elements are stored in alternate interlude chunks in the file. MPEG, Moving Picture Experts Group. It is a standard for generating digital video and audio compression under the International Standard Organization, ISO, by the group of people. These are some of the other digital video file formats. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this channel means subscribe to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you children. Have a good day.